Hello and welcome to the first day of C, day 2. I'm going to show you how to write your first program in C and how to compile it so that it can be executed by the machine. First, let's open the file jules02.c with Emacs. The .c extension lets us and the machine know it's a source file. As soon as you open or create a file .c with Emacs, use Ctrl C and Ctrl H to generate the school header. If you're using Vim, you'll have to use function f1, fnf1. We'll start by declaring our program's entry point with the function main open brackets. In C, all functions have a type, integer, char, etc. They return a value of that type whenever they are used. So here we're going to create the main function which returns an integer. If your function doesn't return anything, you'll have to write void. Void equals null. No variable means nothing to return. As our function main returns an int, let's write the return now. Assuming there was no error in our code, we'll use the default return code, return zero. The zero indicates everything went well. Normally, main takes arguments, but for your first program, we won't. Here we go. We created a function that does nothing but return zero. Just saying everything went fine. Let's save our file with Control X, Control S. With Control Z, Emacs will run in the background. You can see in the shell the task was suspended. Now let's compile our file with GCC, which is the compiler. GCC has several options. For instance, dash zero, uh, sorry, dash O, which allows us to define the type of GCC output file meaning the name of the executable we've created. So let's create an executable called Jules02 using the source file Jules02.c. Be careful not to mix them up, otherwise you'll write, overwrite Jules02.c. There we go, GCC has created our file. See in our directory, we now have two files, Jules02 and Jules02.c. We now have the executable. You can see that through the file's access rights. To make sure we're executing it in the current directory, we'll use dot forward slash before our executable's name. That launches our program, but as it doesn't do anything, there's no output. So let's make it do something. With FG, we go back to the foreground, which reopen Emacs. Let's use a basic system call, write. So, if you remember, or not, we'll use write on the standard output, which is the file descriptor 1. We'll just display one character, for instance, the at sign, and specify how many characters we want to display from this string. So here, just one. Let's quickly check out, check out write man. We can do this simply by doing meter x man. We'll look at the man to write. Write is a system call. Mans are indexed by type and man2 is about the man page. So we want to type man2 write. It splits our window into two. To switch windows, just do control x zero. And you can see, write requires the header hash include, angled brackets, unistd.h. So that the compiler has the declaration and knows what arguments are required. And what the output parameter is. So let's add this header. So control X zero to switch windows. We can see that write requires a file descriptor. The one that rep represents our program standard output, a buffer, which is a string, in our case, just the at sign, and a size, number of bytes to be displayed. Save your modifications, control X, control S, suspend Emacs, control Z, Recompile. Everything went fine. Launch your program. 
at is being displayed on screen. Why is there a percentage at the end? Because there's no carriage return in our program. So let's add one. Exclamation marks and change the size of our string to two characters. Recompiling, relaunching, that's better. Now that we've created our first function, let's move it to a sub-function, which we call ft underscore put char brackets, which will also return an int. So ft underscore put char brackets will take a char c and will simply take the right. from the main and move it up. Cut the line with control K, do it twice to get the carriage return, paste with control Y and in our sub function we'll be able to write the character. It's a little complicated. With the ampersand we give a character's address instead of the character itself which allows us to transform it into a string a char star here we can either return 0 which means everything went well either change the functions type to void returns nothing let's use return 0 we're going to use our function ft underscore put char brackets and this time we'll use simple quotes because it's a character not a string We're going to do a set, this a second time for the inverted commas. Let's close the main window with Control X1, and you can see our program will start its execution from the main. The main calls the sub function ft underscore put char. ft underscore put char displays what we put as a parameter in the char c it returns then we're back to the point of execution at the end of this function then we carry on and then we end up with a ft underscore put char of a line break blank in this case write one the char c becomes blank it's one character so one we return and we're done Let's test this. Control X, Control S to save our program. Recompiling. Launching. It did what we wanted. Now, let's try something a little more complex. Let's create a function that displays n times the character passed as argument. Let's call it ft underscore n put char. So we need the character we want to be displayed and an int for the number of times we want that character displayed. Here we'll simply use this int n to count. We could modify it the hard way, but let's try and keep it simple for now. We need a counter i, which will start from 0. And here, we're going to add a loop with while. While i is smaller than n, while bracket i less than n will display the character. By calling our ft underscore put char function. And as long as it's lower than n, will increase by i. i equals i plus 1. And once i is equal to n, it'll stop. So if we say that the argument n is equal to 1, we start with i, which equals to 0. Therefore, it goes up to 1, starting our first loop. We increase i by 1, so i goes from 0 to 1. The loop starts over again as the i isn't lower than 1, the expression is wrong. 
So we exit our loop while and uh, return zero. So we'll try the same thing. Here we'll call function ft underscore um, input char and ask it to display 42 times the character at followed by an asterisk. Control Z, Emacs run in the background, recompiling, launching. Okay, let's check. Normally we should have 43 characters because the space counts as a character. Here we go, we have 43 characters. With these simple examples, you should be able to write your own programs in C. Up to you to do the rest. Cheers.